Hello and welcome to the video, my name is Midway and I hope you're having a wonderful day, I sure am. Today I'm here to teach you a little bit about the Heroic Trial, a uh, new event that's happening now in Legend of Mushroom and I'm gonna teach you how to score really damn high on this event by playing an archer, right? So you might have seen one of my other videos where I talked about builds and a proper build to do a lot of damage in PvE, well that's gonna be exactly this. We are ranking 16 right now as you can see, this is the 4th day and I don't have any other challenges that I can do right now but we can see the points rankings. This is, of course, on my own server, but I am ranking pretty damn high. So how do I do so much damage on PBE, right? So how do we do that? Well, the way of just being a PBE beast and being able to survive a little bit longer, enough to not die, as well as just dish out a lot of damage, is by doing the following, right? So I'm playing an archer. I, I chose to go with the Shadow Hunter, and uh, I am also using the next setup, right? So you should try and focus on the following skills. Definitely use Shroom Shield and nature's renewal to try and survive longer those two skills are going to take you a lot farther in many pve environments where you are reaching very high levels where you do a lot of damage but then you are dying because the bosses just nuke you that's going to happen to you in this event if you do enough damage right so those two skills are going to be your saviors right so then we have other skills like for example worldly snare we have Smoke Bomb. Those two skills are going to be combining in order to do a lot more damage with your basic attacks. They're going to be giving you some extra damage here on the uh, on the Smoke Bomb. The targets will receive 30% extra damage. And then with the War Listener, you will gain a bunch of crit. And then you will do additional crit damage uh, based on the crit rate you have and stuff. So this is going to be increasing your damage by a lot. And then finally, I am using a Blade Pierce. Pretty damn good skill. Of course, all these Immortal skills, once you start unlocking them, they're going to be increasing your throughput a lot in this case we are just using this one for straight up damage we don't really combo it with anything but other options for this one would be for example to use what i was using before which is the coin bomb or you can also go for something like speed search which is going to increase your attack speed by a lot but the coin bomb here will also give you increased basic attack damage so that's also going to be increasing your damage by a whole lot that should be your go-to option in this case if you don't have blade pierce but there's going to be other better options if you also happen to have some of the other immortal abilities unlocked for example, uh, Windbone Arrow or Clone Strike, for example, really damn strong. 100 Slashes, also pretty cool. And uh, Blitz Assault, well, more importantly, Clone Strike is going to be pretty handy because it also allows you to, to survive longer since the clone is going to be tanking some of that damage, right? That's on the skill side of things. Now on the pal side of things, I'm using the next stuff, the Sprite for sure, or the Hydrosphere instead, uh, to just get more, uh, uh, more of those passive skills just regenerating sooner, so you have more of them. I'm also using the Chicken Hood, so I can get more basic attack damage, pretty damn strong, pretty good basically for everything we want as an archer then we have the hero bird in this case the hero bird increasing our attack speed by a goddamn lot 15 percent that's pretty damn handy exactly what we want then we are just using the panda to be able to survive a little bit longer if you happen to have some regeneration this is going to be increasing it i don't think it's actually working on the skills that we are using to region health but if you have some regeneration this is going to be increasing it so pretty good options if you don't have so happen to have something else is going to be better if you do have instead things like for example the banana that's going to be a lot better option than a panda or for example the one that increases the combo damage as well the, the pirate octopus that's also a pretty damn good option for more damage and then i'm also using the cowboy cactus because it's uh also doing extra damage with basic attacks every every three basic attack is going to be doing extra damage and that also scales with our basic attack increased and as well as with the uh all the other juicy stuff we get from our relics which i'll talk about in a second right so we are using uh the following relic here the chicken pal will throw 5x that's going to be increasing his damage by a little bit we are using the chicken pal so that's it and then the cactus pal is also going to get increased combo rate so that's how we are buffing it right this increased combo rate is also increased by our own combo rate so we are buffing the chicken pal even more using this relic uh when we have the chicken and then we are of course using the extra combo here and then we are trying to buff the worldly snare um, ability here by increasing its effect by 50% using this relic you can also try and buff the uh, smoke bomb or the coin bomb here uh, if you happen to have either of these two other relics you could also buff those two if you don't have the worldly snare which by the way you get from the brawl rewards and then finally here we have the increased boss damage that's going to be your go-to if you don't have that one you can also use your flame book but the beast high book is going to be your go-to for this kind of pb 
PvE event where you're fighting a boss. And finally here, the Storm Legless. Uh, I don't have anything that's able to combo here with what I have. Uh, Blade Beers is the one that I'm using, but it's I don't have it, so I cannot buff that one. But if you happen to have any other Immortal skill and you are able to buff it together with any of this stuff, then you could also try and go ahead and use that. I don't have that one. And then I don't even know what's in the middle, so I cannot really tell you. By the way, I'm leveling them up a little bit, even the here, just trying to level up every single one of the relics in order to get uh, some of that juicy bonus effect, but also trying to focus on leveling the ones where the actual bo uh, bonus percent is increased by level. So, for example, the Blessed Dew, uh, the, that percent combo will increase with level if I level it up. That's why I'm really trying to level up those two in particular a lot, as well as the uh, Gilded Actual. That also works here for increased damage on those uh, actuals that the... the uh, the chicken is throwing right so uh finally touching on stats of course as uh as an archer you want to be getting a lot of crit rate and a lot of combo as well as some evasion in case of just straight up everything basically you want to be evading some of those stacks so you are able to survive more so those are the three stats to go for crit rate combo and evasion that's your go-to and finally a little bit of what we are supposed to be doing on the prayer statue just like i'm doing here trying to get some crit damage bonus and some global combo damage those two are your best stats to get um attack increase overall is also nice but those two are going to be especially strong so with all that in mind that's how you're going to be getting a whole lot of damage on these pve events just try and build an archer like that if you're playing a mage or something else like that try and build an archer if you're able to get your hands on some crit and on some combo especially you will notice that your overall pve damage is going to be insane and by using this build you will also allow yourself to survive a little bit longer this pretty much also applies to everything else like for example the blazing cave is also going to be allowing you to survive longer and this shout insane amount of damage as well as for the uh, the raid, the grumpy big head or whatever, the whale, you know, every PvE event basically when you are having to fight a boss and dish a lot of damage and not die when you get to very high levels, this is how you're going to be able to do it pretty easily because Archer is exactly good and fit for that, right? So hopefully you enjoy that. Now before you go, if you're not using, if you're not yet using Aptoid, uh, you should definitely try and do so. You're going to be getting from a 10% all the way up to 35% discount on further purchases. The way this works is that basically whenever you try to make a purchase within uh, Legend of mushroom or any other android game on your phone or android phone only no iphone sorry or basically on your emulator as well on your pc when you try and make a purchase you're going to be doing so through the app coins wallet and that's going to tell you how much of a bonus you're going to be getting for that purchase now the bonus can go as i mentioned from 10 to 35 percent you get more bonuses by doing more purchases you can also get a flat per five percent increase on that bonus straight away by using my code and the description there's going to be guides on how to set everything up down there in the description as well so you can find out how to set the whole thing up for yourself it's going to take like only five minutes to set it up it's pretty damn si uh, simple pretty damn quick and then you can just start earning, earning more value for your money whenever you make this purchase you get the actual uh, bonus coins here as you can see some app coins credits and then you can choose to use the app coins credits to make the purchase once you have enough and use the credits or the extra value you got um, for make the, making the purchase instead you're actually using your real money for yourself right so basically you're getting a discount on further purchases when making a purchase now so you just multiply the value of your money by doing this right i really been using it for a little while really enjoy it it's pretty damn cool pretty damn simple and it basically just gives you more for the same amount of money so hopefully you enjoy that let me know if you use it down in the description any questions below also there sorry in the comment section and yeah like subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye see you